Ladies and gents, Andy TV here with some more Pokemon Emerald. Last episode, we beat Phoebe of the Elite Four, so naturally that means we're going to be taking on the third member, which is right in this room. And this room looks pretty chilly. This here is Glacia. If you can guess, she uses ice types. And she thinks that, or she says that she's only gotten challenged from weak people. I am not a weak person. So, I will prove it to you that I'm not weak. Glacia here is, like I said before, the ice type member of the, of the Elite Four. She's going to start things off with Celio, level 50, with the moves Encore, Body Slam, Hail, and Ice Ball. Hail could be a problem because it damages anything that isn't an ice type between turns. Kind of like how Sandstorm does that for things that aren't ground rock or steel types. And Encore could also be a pain, but I'm not too worried. Body Slam can also paralyze me, so that's a thing. Now the problem with Glacia, not really with Glacia, but it's with this game in, in general. There's only two ice type families that isn't Reggie Ice, so yeah, she doesn't have much going with her for variety. Um, how much is Return gonna do actually? I haven't tried that. Hopefully this does quite a bit. Ooh, that did quite a bit. I should probably use that more. Uh, body slam, please don't paralyze me. You paralyzed me. Let me guess, you're gonna use a full restore. Well, you know what? If you're gonna use a full restore, well, so will I. Even though, at this point, it's not really worth it, but still, I'm being petty about it. Yep, full restore. And at least this is making it so, um... Hail will eventually end, because it lasts for five turns. So if I can just keep it here with Axel, and not have any other team members, like, go through the hail, then I think that should save them some HP. Okay, then. I'm gonna go with a Mudshot and then another return. That's my plan. Uh, please don't paralyze me. You... I don't like you. This is going to be a bit of a problem, I guess. Uh, let's go with a mud shot here. Please. Okay, then. Perfect. Maybe your speed will be lowered enough for me to actually go first. I'd appreciate that. Oh, yeah. Shell Bell is a thing. Shell Bell is a fantastic item. Uh, let's see. Body Slam again. Okay, then. I'm just going to use Return. And this should knock you out. If not, then something's wrong here. Okay, Axel, I think you're done fighting for now. Okay, next up is going to be Galele. Let's uh, have Vesuvius take care of this. Now, which Galele is this? Because she has two of them. Is this the level 50 one? I hope it is. Yes, it is. Glalie, level 50 with the moves Light Screen, Crunch, Icy Wind, and Ice Beam. Light Screen is probably the thing that you want to watch out for. Just... There I go. Just because it's going to soften hits from any of your other team members as well. Otherwise, Glalie, it doesn't have the best stats in the world either. Like, right there, a Light Screen... Like, a Light Screen Flamethrower thing only took out half its HP, so... Yeah. Not a thing to worry about. Icy Wing could also be a pain since it lowers your speed when it hits. But otherwise, this Glalie isn't problematic at all. So, yeah, I'm not worried. Uh, let's see. Ooh, that's a thing. Wall Rain. Um, Ionia. Okay, then. Wall Rain is going to be Glacia's ace. Wall Rain is level 53 with a Citrus Berry with the moves Surf. Body Slam, Ice Beam, and Sheer Cold. Also has a Thick Fat ability, which means, since I traced it, Ice Beam won't be doing as much. Okay, so you're going to want to watch out for this because Sheer Cold is a one-hit KO move if it hits, and it's more accurate the bigger the level difference is between the user and the opponent, so that's a thing. Like, there's a three-level advantage for that wall range, so Sheer Cold might not hit. 
but I'm not too worried about it either. Okay, sheer cold mist. Thank you. I would have eaten my words if that thing landed. Okay, then one more thunderbolt should do it. And surf, that's... At this point, it's not gonna knock me out. Oh yeah, citrus berry. Body slam would also be a pain just because of the fact that it could paralyze me. But I think I have this thing knocked out. Wall rain is a bit of a tough one because it's very bulky. As you can see right there. So be careful with it. Ooh, light screen wore off. That's a thing. I completely forgot about that. Okay then. I completely forgot about light screen to be honest. Okay. Well, next up is going to be Glalie. Glalie is going to be level 52 with the moves Shadow Ball, Explosion, Hail, and Ice Beam. So that's a thing. That That is definitely a thing you want to watch out for because Explosion is going to hurt a lot. That's why I'm setting out my bulkiest thing here. Uh, fake out. You know what? Just in case. Oh, you have Inner Focus. That's a thing I did not foresee. Because I don't use Glalie. I did not know it had inner focus. But whatever. Uh, let's see here. Just in case, I might want Vesuvius to get some experience from this. Please don't use Explosion. Okay then. Chances are Glalie is going to use Explosion when his HP is low, but... You never know. Let's see, Vesuvius, you can take this, and the explosion! Can I survive this? Can I survive this? No, I can't. Well, at least Bo is going to be getting all of that experience then, which I don't mind. Okay, well, next up is Glacia's last Pokemon, Celio, another one. Who would have known? It's level 52 with the moves Attract, Double Edge, Hail, and Blizzard. Blizzard is going to be a bit of a pain if Hail is on the field because if it's Hailing, Blizzard will never miss. That's a little fun fact there. And Attract might be a problem for me because my team is entirely male. I think. Yeah, that's kind of... I didn't expect that, but oh well. Um... I have Giga Drain, so that's my best move against this thing. Probably gonna take out like around half its HP as well, so... Yeah, around half. Nice. Blizzard, that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt a lot, actually. Ooh, that was a critical. Okay, well, I'm faster, so... Didn't really matter. And I'll be able to heal back some of the damage I took from that blizzard as well. But, with that done, Glacia is down. And that's our third member of the Elite Four defeated. You and your Pokemon, how hot your spirits burn. The all-consuming heat overwhelms. Yeah, I guess... I, I don't know what to say. Advance to the next room, and there come from the truly fearsome side of the Pokemon League. I will do just that, but before I do anything like that, I'm going to have to heal. I think I overprepared for this uh, Elite Four challenge, but there's nothing wrong with overpreparing. Better to overprepare than underprepare, right? Let's see. Okay, that means I'm gonna have. How many hyper potions left? 31? Yeah, 30, uh, 31. I should be good. Okay then, let's heal up Ionia, and boom, Padsy, you're all healed up, and with that done, I'm going to end it off here, so next episode of the Pokemon Emerald, we're going to be taking on the final member of the Elite Four, so see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Emerald, later!